Yeah, I'm fine. I'm full of ideas. I'm bristling with them. Idea number one, teleportation through 5,000 degrees needs some kind of feed. Idea number two, this feed must be hidden nearby. Idea number three, if you're as clever as me, then a teleportation feed can be reversed. Oh, you should have seen the little alien faces. Oh. The last human. So, you passed my little test brother. This makes you eligible to join um, the, the, the human club. People have died, Cassandra. You murdered them. It depends on your definition of people. And that's enough of a technicality to keep your lawyers dizzy for centuries. Take me to court, then, Doctor. And watch me smile and cry and flutter. And creak. And what? Creak. You're creaking. What? Ah, I, I'm drying out. Oh, oh, sweet heavens. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Where are my surgeons? My lovely boys. It's too hot. Oh. You raise the temperature. Oh, have pity. Moisturize me. Oh, oh doctor. Uh, everything has its time and everything dies. I am too young. I shall follow the primary order. The Dalek instinct to destroy, to conquer. What for? What's the point? Don't you see it's all gone? Everything you were, everything you stood for. What should I do? All right, then. If you want orders, follow this one. Kill yourself. The Daleks must survive! The Daleks have failed! Why don't you finish the job and make the Daleks extinct? Rid the universe of your filth! Why don't you just die?! You would make a good Dalek. Get out of the way! I'm gonna rescue her. Rob! I'm gonna save Rose Tyler from the middle of the Dalek fleet, and then I'm gonna save the Earth, and then, just to finish off, I'm gonna wipe every last stinking Dalek out of the sky! But you have no weapons, no defenses, no plan! Yeah. And doesn't that scare you to death? Do not interrupt, not interrupt, do not interrupt! I think you're forgetting something. I'm the doctor, and if there's one thing I can do, it's talk. I've got five billion languages, and you haven't got one way of stopping me. So if anybody's gonna shut up, it's you! Tucked away at the bottom, there's always one stupid old satsuma. Who wants satsuma? No second chances. I'm that sort of a man. That was murder. That was defense. It's adapted from alien technology. A ship that fell to Earth ten years ago. But they were leaving. You said yourself, Doctor. They'd go back to the stars and tell others about the Earth. I'm sorry, Doctor, but you're not here all the time. You come and go. It happened today. Mr. Llewellyn and the Major. They were murdered. They died right in front of me while you were sleeping. In which case, we have to defend ourselves. Britain's golden age. It comes with a price. I gave them the wrong warning. I should have told them to run as fast as they can. Run and hide because the monsters are coming. The human race. Those are the people I represent. I did it on their behalf. And I should have stopped you. What does that make you, Doctor? Another alien threat? Don't challenge me, Harriet Jones, because I'm a completely new man. I could bring down your government with a single word. You're the most remarkable man I've ever met. But I don't think you're quite capable of that. No, you're right. Not a single word. Just six. I don't think so. Six words. Stop it! Six. Don't you think she looks tired? These people are alive. But think of those humans out there, healthy and happy because of us. If they live because of this, then life is worthless. Hold on a minute. Queen and country's one thing, but this is my house. 
What the, what the hell am I doing? Now you listen here, doctor. You may have fancy qualifications, but what goes on under my roof is my business. Not if people are being... I into... am talking and I'm not listening! Now you, Mr. Connolly, you are staring into a deep, dark pit of trouble if you don't let me help. So I'm ordering you, sir, to tell me what's going on. Shift in one minute. Miss Hartman, I am asking you, please don't do it. We have done this a thousand times. Then stop at a thousand! Women! his voice. That was the worst thing. The fury of the Time Lord. And then we discovered why. Why this doctor, who had fought with gods and demons, why he'd run away from us and hidden. He was being kind. She's dead. I broke the lock. Give me a hand. I'm begging you. Everything's changed. It's only the two of us. We're the only ones left. <laughs> of the planets into a single stream. No. Davros! Davros, you can't! You, you can't! can't. Don't, no. don't die with us. No. Because someone told me just recently, they said I was going to die. They said he will knock four times, and I think I know what that means, and it doesn't mean right here, right now. Because I don't hear anyone knocking for you! Three knocks is all you're getting! <laughs> what are you catching back? What are you doing? If I have to fight you as well, then I will. Susie. My granddaughter. The person she's supposed to become. Might never exist now. Nah. Captain, I'd like to inspire her face to face. Different details, but the story's the same. You can't know that. And if my family changes, the whole of history could change. The future of the human race. No one should have that much power. Tough. You should have left us there. I would have done this sort of thing before. In small ways, say some little people. But never someone as important as you. Oh, I'm good. Little people? What, like Mia and Yuri? Who decides they're so unimportant? You? For a long time now, I thought I was just a survivor, but I'm not. I'm the winner. That's who I am. The Time Lord Victorious. And there's no one to stop you? No. This is wrong, Doctor. I don't... I don't care who you are. The Time Lord Victorious is wrong. That's for me to decide. Oh, I, I didn't say you could go. Article 57 of the Shadow Proclamation. This is a fully established level five planet. And you were going to burn it? What? Did you think no one was watching? 
You lot. You're going Back to have to trust now. us this time. Trust you. Sure. But first of all, Dr. Song, just one thing. Who are you? You're someone from my future getting that, but who? Okay. Why are you in prison? Who did you kill? Hmm? No, I love a bad girl, me. But trust you. Seriously. If you wouldn't. I genuinely don't know. Doctor? Why are you doing this? Yes, I'd quite like to know that too. You set this up, why? Because it's not a game, Kate! This is a scale model of war! Every war ever fought right there in front of you. Because it's always the same. When you fire that first shot, no matter how right you feel, you have no idea who's going to die! You don't know whose children are going to scream and burn. How many hearts will be broken? How many lives shattered? How much blood will spill until everybody does what they were always going to have to do from the very beginning? Sit down and talk! You will never understand. I don't understand? <laughs> are you kidding me? Of course I understand. I mean, to call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. It, it's not possible. I, I can't. Yes, it is. You can. And you will, or this street will be over. I'll show you and all your fun little friends to the whole laughing world. I'll bring the unit, I'll bring the Zygons. Give me a minute, I'll bring the Daleks and the Cybermen. You will save Clara, and you will do it now, or I will rain hell on you for the rest of time. Don't just stop talking like that. You can't. I can do whatever the hell I like. You've read the stories. You know who I am. And in all of that time, did you ever hear anything about anyone who stopped me? I know the Doctor. Doctor the doctor left. is no longer here. You are stuck with me. And I will end you everything you love. She was saving you. I was lost a long time ago. She was saving you. I've done my best. But I strongly advise you to keep out of my way. You'll find that it's a very small universe when I'm angry with you. If you think because she's dead I'm weak, then you understand very little. If you were any part of killing her, and you're not afraid, then you understand nothing at all. So for your own sake, understand this. I am the doctor. I'm coming to find you, and I will never, ever stop.